This is a story called Lucy's Gift. There's a young couple, Lyra and Jason, both in their early thirties, who have been trained for a baby ever since they got together when they were in their early twenties. So far they have been unsuccessful, so they decide to try IVF, but after a few rounds that, that didn't work either. After the IVF failed, they decided they didn't want to go for surrogacy, but they wanted to adopt a baby. So they put in an adoption application and waited for a baby to become available for adoption, but they thought it would never happen. However, just as they thought all hope was lost, they got a phone call telling them that a baby boy had become available. It was everything they had ever wished for. A few months after they adopted Marcus, they discovered that they had conceived naturally against all odds. The couple couldn't believe that it was really happening and they were so excited. Laura's pregnancy went by without a problem and after nine months and one week she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. She weighed six pound eight ounce and they called her Lucy. Marcus was just a baby when Lucy was born but they were close from the start. Lucy and Marcus were very healthy kids who were very rarely sick. However, one day Lucy began complaining that she wasn't feeling well, so her parents took her to the doctors who confirm, confirmed that she had a virus. Lucy was sick for two weeks. Once she was well enough, Lucy went back to school and she was fine. However, about three days later, she suddenly collapsed during playtime at school and was rushed to hospital. When her parents got to her, she was awake and talking. Then out of the blue, she lost consciousness and stopped breathing. The doctors and nurses tried desperately to resuscitate her, but it was no use, and Lucy was pronounced dead at the age of just seven years old. Her parents were beside themselves with grief, and so was Marcus and the rest of her family and friends. No one could understand how this could happen to such a happy, healthy little girl who was always full of happiness and joy and laughter. A post-mortem was done and it turned out that Lucy was born with a serious heart defect that had gone undetected and that's what killed her. After Lucy's funeral, her mum, Lara, started to volunteer at the local homeless shelter in her spare time. One day while she was outside checking on people, Lara met her little girl who wouldn't speak to anyone. She was nicknamed Pumpkin because no one knew her real name. She was being looked after by another homeless girl called Tiana who was 15 years old and had run away from home and had been living on the streets for six months but no one knew why because she wouldn't tell anyone. A few days after meeting Tiana and Pumpkin, a homeless lady with all her belongings in the supermarket shopping trolley came up and said that the little girl was actually called Mary Jo and that she knew her mum up until she died two weeks ago. Lara was concerned for the welfare and the safety of the two girls and she knew that she had to do something to help them. She took them into the shelter after they were given a hot meal and a bed for the night. The following day, as Lara was approaching the shelter, she saw a strange man trying to take Mary Jo and saying that he knew her mum and he was like a dad to her. However, it was clear that Mary Jo was terrified of him because she was crying and refusing to go with him. Lara told him to go away and never to come back again. However, about a week later, the man did come back and he picked Mary Jo up and tried to put her in his car. 
Just at that moment, Lila showed up and managed to get Mary Jo off the man. She told him that her husband was a police officer and that if he, was, if he showed up again, he would be arrested. The man was seen driving around a few times, but he never got out of his car or tried to take Mary Jo again. Little did everyone know was that he was still planning to take Mary Jo, but he had, he had to wait for the right moment. Lara and Jason decided to adopt Mary Jo and she went to live with them. Tiana refused to go back home because she didn't get on with her stepdad and she was terrified of him so she went into a hostel where she stayed until she was 18. This gave her the opportunity to finish school and go to college where she studied health and social care because she wanted to work with young people like herself who had nowhere or no one to turn to and were very vulnerable. One day Lara told her husband that she wanted to open a foundation for homeless and vulnerable people in Lucy's name. Jason was all for it and so was the other staff at the shelter and it was decided that it would be called Lucy's Foundation. On the opening night, as Lara was giving her speech, Mary Jo said she needed to go to the toilet, so Lara's friend took her. No one knew that the cake Mary Jo had eaten had been spiked with sleeping tablets to knock her out. The man who tried to take her before arranged for another man to drug the lady who had taken Mary Jo to the toilet and to kidnap Mary Jo and take her back to him. Paul tied Mary Jo up and left her in an old unused warehouse. When Jason found out where she was, he went to get her and when he called out her name, she shouted out me daddy. When he got to her, he'd already called for backup and Paul was arrested and charged with kidnapping, attempted kidnapping, the murder of Mary Jo's mum and the possession of holding unlicensed firearms. Both him and the other men involved were sent to jail for a very long time. Lara apologised for, for the night going completely wrong and she was very disappointed until she was told that they had received cheques and donations amounting to £100,000 in one night and that Lucy's foundation was now officially open. All Lara could say was that it was all down to Lucy because both her and Jason saw her ghost on a regular basis and it was her who took her to Mary Jo. She thanked everyone for coming and one of the homeless men gave the following speech in the memory of Lucy because he'd got to know Lara and Jason and he'd heard all about her and he'd seen several photos of her. There was no hope from where she came, no calm, no peace. She had no name, only sorrow and pain from guilt and rage. One white rose brought depth and change. A reason to give from one woman's heart gave a little girl a chance and a brand new start. Beautiful homeless child and one white rose brought one ray of light, it's what Lucy chose, but Lucy's gift is what shone through. Now a new path that nurtured and grew, there was this gift from heaven above, from tragic death came stability and love, but it was Lucy's gift that gave new, new, new meaning to their life. She saved a little girl, and brought back a husband and a wife. She left a trace. You may not see me now, but when you look in the mirror, you will always see me just as I see you. Think about me, because although I'm gone, I will always think about you. Always remember there are angels in heaven, including me. Lucy, you may now be gone, but no matter what happens, no matter where we go, no matter what we do, 
We will always and forever remember you. We will always hold you close to our hearts. We will always hold you in our hearts. That's because we love you, Lucy, and we always will. The end. Thank you. Just so you know, that um, poem, that last bit, came from a film I'd watched on YouTube, which is where I got the idea for the story. So I just thought you'd like to know that in case you thought I'd copied it from somewhere. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Bye.